to talk sensibly about the beginning of life, we have to be very realistic. We have to ask a historical question. 4,000 million years ago, before life began, when the Earth was very young, what was the surface of the Earth? What was its atmosphere like? Well, it was like a volcanic neighborhood anywhere, a cauldron of steam and ammonia and gases. What gases? One gas was absent. There was no free oxygen. That's crucial because oxygen is produced by the plants and did not exist before life existed in a free state. These gases in their reducing atmosphere dissolved weakly in the oceans. How would they react now under the action of lightning electric discharges, under the action of ultraviolet light? which is very important in every theory of life and which could penetrate in the absence of oxygen. That question was answered by a beautiful experiment by Stanley Miller in America around about 1950. He put the atmosphere in a flask, the methane, the hydrogen cyanide, the ammonia, the water, the oxides of carbon, and went on for day after day after day, boiled and bubbled them up, put an electric discharge through them to simulate lightning and other violent forces. Visibly, the mixture darkened. Why? Because on testing it was found that amino acids had been formed in it. That's a crucial step forward because amino acids are the building blocks of life. From them the proteins are made and proteins are the constituents of all living things. to think that life had to begin in those sultry electric conditions until a few years ago. And then it began to occur to a few scientists that there is another set of extreme conditions which may be as powerful. That is the presence of ice. It's a strange thought. But ice has two properties which make it very attractive in the formation of simple basic molecules. First of all, the process of freezing concentrates the material which at the beginning of time must have been very dilute in the oceans. And secondly, the crystalline structure of ice makes it possible for molecules to line up in a way which is certainly important at every stage of life. At any rate, Leslie Orgel did a number of elegant experiments of which I will describe the simplest. He took some of the basic constituents which are sure to be present in the atmosphere of the Earth at an early time. Hydrogen cyanide is one. Ammonia is another. He made a dilute solution of them in water and then froze the solution over a period of several days. The time-lapse photographs show what happens. The concentrated material is pushed into a sort of tiny iceberg to the top. And there, the presence of a small amount of color reveals that organic molecules have been formed. Some amino acids, no doubt, but most important, Orgel found that he had formed one of the four fundamental constituents in the genetic alphabet which directs all life. He had made adenine, 
one of the four bases in DNA. It may indeed be that the alphabet of life in DNA was formed in these sorts of conditions and not in tropical conditions. <laughs>